Good morning, Kingsley Community. Pastor Colleen Wehrman here coming to you with another daily devotion for Monday, Thursday. It is Holy Week and it is Thursday, April 6, 2023. And I'm going to use the upper room. And as you can tell, I'm here in the um, sanctuary and we're all decorated for Good Friday. We have um, a cross down here and I'll show you that at the end of the devotional that you can come and nail your sins to the cross. Um, and then we'll go ahead, I'll read and pray over them. You don't have to put your name on them. And then I burn them along with our palm branches that I see um, that they've collected for me to burn for ashes for next year's Ash Wednesday service. So today's devotional is by Kathleen Brewer from New Brunswick, Canada. And it's entitled Monday Thursday, which is um, the day that before Jesus's death on the cross, uh, he celebrated last the Last Supper with his um, disciples, and they had a, um, you know, the traditional Passover meal. Um, so you've seen some people reenact the Last Supper, and they read scripture in between, because that would have been something they would have done. Um, and there's a specific type of foods that they eat. Unleavened bread, of course, lamb, some kind of beef, bitter herbs, um, an egg. There's all kinds of different things that they eat. And it all stands for, uh, it all represents God and the exile of the Israelites from Egypt. Uh, so we know Monday, Thursday, he also washed the disciples' feet. So he would um, show them what servant leadership meant. And then he would be um, arrested in the garden. So I remember, oh, we're supposed to read John 13, 31 through 35. And our concentration is on verse 34 of John 13. Jesus said, as I have loved you, so you must love one another. So Kathleen writes, I remember my first Maundy Thursday worship service. I didn't know what to expect. To be honest, I didn't know what Maundy Thursday, Maundy meant. Maundy, I learned, was a shortened form of the Latin word, monta, mana, mandatum, which means command. Simple. As we see in our verse from John today, Jesus gave his disciples and us a new commandment on that first Maundy Thursday. You must love one another. That night, Jesus humbled himself by washing the disciples' feet as he shared a meal with them for the last time before his death. The next day, Jesus paid the ultimate price for giving his life for our sins. The first Monday Thursday service I attended brought the worshipers to a point of self-reflection. Then the pastor asked for our personal prayer concerns, prayed for us individually, and ended the service with communion. When the service was over, I was in tears thinking of the love Christ has for us. His command to us was not just to love someone when it's easy or convenient, but to love even when it's hard, like when we are busy or when someone is difficult to love. <laughs> Hello, oh, any difficult people out there to love? Yep. Sometimes they can be very difficult myself. Some days and some situations are challenging. Amen. But we can pray that we will love one another so that we can show the world what it means to follow Jesus. So um, I'm going to read you John 13, 31 through 35. Let me get a Bible. Never have a Bible with me. Luckily, I'm in the sanctuary and they have a Bible. Yes, we have Bibles in our pews. I have a Bible up here on my pulpit. Well, God's pulpit, not my pulpit. So we're going to look at John 13. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Whoops. Whoops, went way past it. John 13. And you can get your Bible, too, and read it with me. What did I say? 31 through 35. When he had gone out, Jesus said... Quote, red letters, now the Son of Man has been glorified, and God has been glorified in him. If God has been glorified in him, the Son, God will also glorify him, the Son, in himself, and will glorify him at once. So this is when he's talking about his resurrection. And also Jesus glorified God on the cross because he died a sacrificial death for all people. Full atonement of sin for all people, not just chosen people, all people. And then it says, uh, little children, I am with you only a little longer. So he's talking to, to his disciples. You will look for me, as I said to the Jews, so now I say to you, where I am going, you cannot come. I give you a new commandment, that you love one another, just as I have loved you, but you, should also, but you also should love one another. By this, 
everyone will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. So this was after they did the um, uh, Last Supper and he said, someone's going to betray me. And he took the bread that he was breaking and he served it to Judas. So another reason that our community table in the United Methodist Church is open to all people, because that might be a time when they come to know Jesus. So, um, and the rest of us who know Jesus as Lord and Savior, we come to remember what he's done for us. You know, we can put all rules all over com communion, but Jesus said, do this often in remembrance of me. That sounds like a command. <laughs> so sometimes when I go to places where they withhold communion for others, um, I don't agree. I don't go up and break the tradition of the church, but it's pretty clear in scripture that Jesus said, do this in remembrance of me. All of you drink this juice for forgiveness of sins. All of you. So let's say a prayer. And remember, we have Good Friday service tomorrow at 7 p.m. Easter egg hunt at 4 o'clock in Brownson Park. Come at 3.30 to register. You can register online, which means you just don't have to stand in a line. And you can start working on getting your picture taken with Easter Bunny and go around to all our little setup props to get your picture taken. And 4 o'clock promptly, we will have the Easter egg hunt. I'm apparently supposed to have some kind of Easter jokes or something to say. Okay, I'm sure I'll have something to say. But kids, if you have a clean Easter joke that you want to share, I'll have a microphone. Come find me. Um, and <clears throat> then on Easter morning, we have breakfast from 8.30 to 9.45. And then we come upstairs and we have a wonderful Easter service at 10 a.m. You do not have to come to breakfast. It is free to anyone who wants to come. Please come to service. We are an open church, a family church. We love all people. Come and hear the word of God. And let God change your heart. It's not our job to change you. It's Jesus' job to change you. And boy, does he work on us. Holy smokes. I don't know about you, but I'm a little better than I was 30 years ago. <laughs> work in progress. Okay? So let me pray for you. And I hope you check out our service. You can even check it out online. But there's something different about corporate worship, meaning the body of believers get together. The spirit is felt more deep. I think so we'll have a baptism I'll have open communion so you don't have to feel weird about coming up just come up I'll tell you what to do just take a piece of bread and then you take a little juice cup and then we got a garbage can for you to throw it out and I'll say body of Christ broken for you and then the person giving you the juice will say blood of Christ shed for you um, come with the open heart come to experience a great mystery around sa this sacrament um, a sacrament is a way for God to make known his grace in a physical way, a symbolic way. And so we do that with bread and juice. The other sacrament we celebrate in the Methodist church is um, baptism. So we'll have two kiddos that we're going to be baptizing. So that'll be fun too. So Friday, 7 p.m., Good Friday. Saturday, Easter egg hunt, 4 o'clock, be there at 3.30. Sunday, 8.30 to 9.45 breakfast. 10 a.m. worship service. Let's pray. Father God, thank you for your gift of love. Help us to humble ourselves to love others as Christ has loved us and has shown us how much he loves and to has manifested your love for the world on a cross. May we always remember that we have to go through the cross first before we get to the resurrection. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. The prayer focus is for strength to love like Christ. All right. I hope you have a good weekend and happy Easter. Um, and I will hopefully see you one of these days, Friday night, Saturday, or Sunday. Make sure you come up and say hi. Have a good day.